Volcano was an offshoot of what had been going on for years in Sudbury called the Sudbury Philharmonic Society, which included a choir and an orchestra, held practices separately until near the concert time. Oftentimes the orchestra accompanied the choir, especially when we did things like the Messiah and other masses. Eric Woodward was the founding conductor of that large group. I played the violin in the orchestra for four years or so and then sang in the choir for another four years until the mid-70s. At that time, Eric Woodward asked for a year off. He wanted to take a sabbatical and he asked me to take over the choir for that short term. And Metro Kozak, who had, was fairly new in Sudbury, I believe, he took over the orchestra. We uh, finished that year and uh, decided that it would be better if we split into two groups. <laughs> choir wanted to take a new direction. Uh, they seemed to like the idea that we were no longer part of a large group and we didn't have to sing the same things over and over again as we did when we were with the Philharmonic Orchestra. And that didn't settle well with Eric Woodward when he came back from his leave of absence or whatever it was. And uh, for a period of several months in late 1975, Eric Woodward and the choir and the orchestra were having a bit of a battle through the newspaper and uh, letters to the editor and so on. And it was kind of an interesting proposition to read in the paper what was going to happen next. So that year I, we held our Christmas concert separately. The Bel Canto performed at St. Andrews and the orchestra performed elsewhere. I'm not sure what they did. What I love is the feeling that we are an orchestra of voices, that we are able to give richness to music as a group and that each of us is working towards the exact same goal every time we come together of making a particular piece sound the very best that we can make it. Um, I also happen to be a person who studies and teaches positive psychology and one of the things that we know about what makes us feel good and what makes us feel happy is when we find like-minded people with whom to share our passions and I also believe that that is one of the very strongest driving forces of an organization like the Bel Canto Chorus because not only have we found all those people who are sitting around us in the choir but we also get to do it in the spirit of pleasure that we can give others and uh, other ways that we can benefit the community as a group. So all of those things we know actually change our brain chemistry. So that's kind of the technical reason that I think I keep coming back and I only know about that more because I've studied it. Um, but I bet it would explain a lot for a lot of people who are part of the choir or who have been over the years. Sometimes I would admit, after a long day of teaching, I would arrive for rehearsal with Bel Canto, and I would have had maybe, I would have had my dinner and a 10 minute letdown or a nap after supper, and walk in a little bit tired, 
but I can honestly say at the end of every rehearsal, I walked out of there with a lighter step. I had tremendous energy to the point where I probably couldn't sleep till one or two in the morning. So thanks a lot for that. But I mean, it was great to, to see how people would dive into these very complex pieces of music. And there was one piece in particular that I, I recall the way you, you sang this line. And it was just like the epitome of the work. It was a, about destiny. And the way the chorus sang that line about destiny and we are all human. Ah, you can see it still moves me to think of that. So it was a great relationship. Lots of fun, lots of jokes, lots of seriousness. And I think for all of us, we can say that there's some part of being involved with this chorus that moves us on a very deep level, makes us feel healthier, sometimes wiser actually. And I can honestly say that it was one of the gelling moments in my career. Having songs in my heart and life and brain gives me a peace that passes understanding. It, it grounds all of my being. I've sung in choir since my 30s and only because I realized that I had lost my songs. I had always sung as a child. I sang through my teens somewhat, but I think I, 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 I lost a lot because I, I became, oh, I, maybe I was a little rebellious and I thought I wouldn't want to be in any kind of organization. So by the time I was about 33, I thought, I can't. I have no songs to sing, so I better get singing. So I sang for a number of years with the Sudbury Chamber Singers. I then retired from singing for a bit, and again I realized I'd lost my songs. So fortunately I was able to join Bel Canto, and I have been welcomed, and I have my songs back. saying at, in my home that's on the wall that is uh, very special to me and it is music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life and that is how I feel about my involvement with my music with Bel Canto Chorus. vast array of music that we sing, very dynamic. You know, it's ageless, right? It's been, it's been around for years, a lot of it. That's the richness of this choir, for sure. Well, I love this choir. It's been a part of my life, and uh, I enjoy the camaraderie with uh, the other singers in the choir. Uh, I enjoy the challenge of the music, I enjoy the challenge of the library, and uh, performing is a real gift. It's, uh, it's, it's exciting and it uh, fulfills something in my life. When we come together, it's, it's magical. Oh, I, I think it's, it's an ongoing love. I think uh, what, once you're singing, particularly with a group of people, it, it makes you feel alive. When you see how much they appreciate and enjoy our efforts, it really is a very rewarding experience and you're glad you made the time to do it. And then there's something magical happens when it all comes together in a concert. It just makes you tingle when everything is perfect, when it just when everybody's singing the right things at the right time and, and there's an audience out there applauding and it's just a magic night.
since I grew up. Uh, I just always like doing kind of funny voices and doing stuff with uh, just making people laugh in that way. And uh, then singing was a way I could kind of take that more seriously. It's just a really good way to express yourself. It's a really constructive way to just kind of, you know, put your soul into something, a good passion, and it makes people happy. Well, there's just something incredible about uh, coming together and using your voice to blend with other voices. Um, and it's just an incredible feeling to be able to uh, find out what beauty can come out of human beings. And there, there's just nothing that can compare to that in my mind. discovered something about myself that I did not know before and that is that I love applause. I just love it. I can't get enough of it and I never had it in my life before so I get applauded and I love it. <laughs> Singing in bel canto is just uh, my favorite part of the week. And uh, I, leaving bel canto is as unthinkable to me as leaving my job. I don't make money there, but I do make music and fun. And we all make fun together. And music. Well, I suppose there's music within all of us. And um, before I sang in a choir, I, I, I remember thinking I couldn't sing. But Pam is a marvelous director and uh, it always amazes me that she can get some decent sounds out of uh, even my voice. So with a bit of hard work and uh, some decent practice, uh, it's, uh, it's a great experience, a lot of fun. I uh, became a stage manager about 30 years ago. And uh, the first month uh, we started, uh, we all had to uh, need a pencils. And uh, most of us didn't bring a pencils with us. And the uh, director uh, was upset with us most of the time without a pencils. And then all of a sudden she started naming names. And she says, uh, Ray, where's your pencils? Barbara, where's your pencils? She kept naming names until my name was up. And she said, Jules. She says, where's your pencils tonight? I says, I don't have any. She says, next time I see you, you better bring a pencil. Says, yes, ma'am. Anyhow, the week after, I came back and she says, okay. Everybody with their pencils put their hands up. And, uh, and I did. And she says, Jules, did you bring a pencil today? Yes, ma'am. I says, this is my pencils. <laughs> and ever since I've been, bringing pencils for the whole choir for the last 30 years. And this is a story about the pencils. Thank you. You're going to go in your score with the pencil, and every time you see wonderful calls out, you're going to write W-A-H and then K-A-H. Ka. Wa. Ka. Wonderful calls No, that wasn't ah anymore. That was cow, cow, ka. Try it again. Wonderful. Wonderful. I moved here from Sault Ste. Marie about two years ago and we had heard of the uh, Bel Canto Chorus in Sault Ste. Marie so we were very excited about, uh, about joining the group because it has a reputation that goes well beyond Sudbury. And I think the most interesting thing about the, uh, the choir is the director, Pam Teed. She's a wonderful teacher, and that's probably our favorite part of the whole thing. She's knowledgeable, she's animated, and we really, really enjoy the rehearsals. And uh, Allison and I have both been singing all our lives, but we have learned so much from Pam since we got here. So that's probably the thing about the choir that we enjoy the most. <laughs> 
Yeah? <laughs> Laugh your way through the runs. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I love this ridiculous tempo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Five. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> so, nice and light. Did you slow that down? Or am I just getting used to it? Oh, excellent. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. <laughs> 10, can we just push it a little faster? Okay, there are very long notes and I know we go, okay, four beats, you can do it, <laughs> or whatever. 23, I got this, you know? But please, breathe and sing. Tenors, when I'm showing you, I was telling you, this is when you go up to the E. I didn't mean this is the Alleluia, so I think I confused some of you, like it's here, Alleluia. I meant this is where you go up to the E. I don't have to do that if it's confusing. I, I'll just leave you alone. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's take a break, I guess. <laughs> Why am I funny? <laughs> what do you mean by funny? Uh, I, I don't know that I do it on purpose. I think music is fun. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> I think music is fun, and I think that uh, that can so easily be forgotten. Um, it's okay to laugh, and it's, and it's good for you, in fact, right? Uh, even if a piece is very sad, you're getting something from that. I don't know that you'd call it fun, but somewhere in there, there's a sense of enjoyment, right? So in the end, music is fun, and I, I always think that there's room to, to, to laugh. There's always, there's always room to laugh. And uh, uh, I, I've said this to the choir so many times, if it's not fun, don't bother. Right? Why bother? We're right here to have fun. There you go. You have to get a, a little laugh sound. Okay? All right. When you sing a really low note, we think press down inside. Right? So you kind of press down with your throat. When what you should actually do is lighten. Side. Like there's an egg back there. <coughs> Always seeking that <coughs> that echoey feeling, right? On every note. It's like a target you're always trying to hit. And by the way, the target is like up there somewhere. Okay? So we're gonna go way faster. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. I'm already totally exhausted. I almost told Belcanto that I was pregnant before I told my husband because I was uh, at work and I was working late and uh, it was Tuesday night and so I'd, um, I'd felt in, you know, a little weird so I took a pregnancy test and it was positive and I was so excited but I didn't have time to go home first so I came right to choir and uh, when Pam was saying, oh, does anybody have any announcements as she always does before every session, I was almost wanted to be like, me, I have an announcement, I want to tell everybody, but uh, I didn't, I, I sat there and just did our rehearsal and I, <laughs> I waited until the break and then I told uh, Paula, who was sitting next to me, that I needed to get out of there and I got home and before my husband went to bed so I got to tell him, but uh, the choir almost knew first, which uh, is you know, would have been okay too, because they're <laughs> important to me. Uh, in fact, uh, after the boys were born, I ended up having twin boys. And after they were born, um, Leslie Flowers, who sits next to me, or, or sometimes sits next to me as we get moved around a bit, but uh, she came by and, and brought some treats for the boys and, and gave her well wishes when they were only a couple weeks old. So you, you meet really good people here. Fellowship of the of the of the bases in the back row. We have a few laughs together when when uh, when we're not being too serious. I've made a lot of really good friends in Bill Canto, so I always look forward to coming. And um, uh, some of the people even that have left, I'm still in contact with. So I've made some really close friends.
1960, it was still the Philharmonic Choir and Orchestra. And uh, someone mentioned it to me about it was a choir, so I, I joined that first, you see. They didn't audition in those days, but I'd had quite a bit of experience, so they let me in. But it wasn't very friendly. There was no interaction with people, and you, know, you just went, you sang, you went home. Well, with Pam, it's, it's a fun evening, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. She's so clever at imparting, imparting her knowledge, and, and she's so witty. I just enjoy her so much. I hope she stays forever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just love it. It has been really wonderful to see even the people who attend our concerts change. I have noticed that we have a younger group coming in as well. It's always fun. Uh, some may find it distracting, but I find it fun to uh, sit and watch a six, seven, eight-year-old as they sit and listen to the choir, as they observe our guest artists, as they watch the instrumentalists that they, uh, we have with us. Uh, their faces light up. They turn to their parents and go, wow, or they laugh, or they sometimes just sit on their seats in color. Well, hey, we're tempted to do that too sometimes as adults when we're in meetings and things. It's fun to watch the choir evolve. It's even more fun to watch the audiences evolve. The greatest thrill of belonging to Bel Canto was being able to go to New York and sing in the Lincoln Center. And I still cannot watch the video of that. It makes me cry. <laughs> it was so beautiful. I met people from all over the world. And to sing with voices from Singapore and Australia and China and Japan. And it was just an incredible, incredible experience. And um, I still pinch myself that I was actually there. And in the summers, uh, we travel around to the senior residences, sing our uh, music that and was picked out for the elderly, which always bring back good memories, as music does. Once the songs are perfected, almost, um, it's absolutely exhilarating. I love it. Um, concerts are wonderful. Um, there's just a, a just that feeling of just absolutely being caught up to the heavens in the music is, is wonderful. For me personally, um, being a part of something that, that you can't make on your own is just extremely rewarding. More rewarding, I think, than, than just singing by myself. The sound you can make in a small group is beautiful, but, but the sound you can make in a, in a larger group is just, you know, there's, there's no comparison. It's, it's a much bigger sound, a much richer sound, and, and there's sort of, you have access to more, more, you know, pieces, and, um, and so I'm really enjoying being a part of, of that uh, for a change. I like both experiences, but uh, this has been nice. Singing with all the, all the other voices is just amazing, because you can make, you can be so big, you can blast the roof off. And it's just, it's just amazing when we do that. And there's so many very talented singers that it just sounds quite glorious. Anyone wanting to sing, it's an excellent place to, to go. An excellent choir to sing in.